my name is Charmaine and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, thanks and welcome. Please subscribe and like this video if you want to see more content like this. Today we are going to do something different. Usually I'm doing something with my Cricut, but today I'm going to design a journal. Oh, I'm so excited about showing you this video because it's so much fun to do. So let's get started. First of all, you got to go to um, the website Convey, I think it's Canvay.com, www.canva.com. Okay, then you have to, I think you got to sign in. I'm already signed in. So I'm gonna go ahead and go. We always, what I'm doing, my journal is always eight by, by eight by, I think it's eight and a half by 11. So I always go to the US um, letter document. And I wanna give a shout out to Penny Pitching, Penny Pinching Wife. She also did a journal. I found her on Facebook and she does a journal. She did a journal. I'm also in her Facebook group. So join her group. She's really um has a lot going on in her group and um she also has a Facebook page and they both are called I mean she also has a um YouTube channel and they both are called the Penny Pinching Wife. She has a video also show, explaining how to do a journal in Cam in Canva. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we went ahead and went to um um, canvay.com and this is just basically it's just a free site it's this is it's really nice you can make a lot of different things here but today we are just going to go ahead and do we're gonna just use this right here to upload I have a lot of things I already upload and another thing I love this site because it's also an app on my phone I have an app on my phone so all these things are already uploaded already and basically what you need to do is when you upload stuff just go right here to this upload I image and then you go to wherever you uploaded at in your computer wherever it's saved up in your computer so then you just push, you click on something, then you open it and it pops up right there. Okay, today I'm going to go ahead and use this image that I already had stored in here. So let's show, let me show you how I did it. Let me see, I use pink. Now let me go ahead and do this first one, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and do this image first. So this is from Coco Twins, I love her work. Shout out to Coco Twins. And you can get her SVGs from her website, cocotwins.com. And basically we just um, go ahead and pull it out so it can go ahead and go over your binder, go over this, the dotted line so it can cut. But I, and then you wanna go to the, then you just go ahead and push new page for the second page. This is for my front of my binder or my journal, I'm sorry. This is for the front of my journal, the, the cover. And then I go ahead and add a new page. And then I go ahead and do the back, which I already uploaded. Click it right there. This to be the back. And there we have it. It's easy as that. You basically just upload an image and put it on here and then you can you have the front and the back cover. And then what you need to do is go to this area right here and then you download it as a PDF file. And then you just click download and then you save both of them sheets on, on in one download. And at the bottom, let me see, it's right here, the pop up right here at the bottom of my screen and then I can just download and I save it right here. And I save it to where I want it. Even though I already saved it, so I'm gonna go save it again. But I went on here and um, it's already downloaded. So we'll click out that. Okay. So I just X this out. So this is how we do it. I'm, I'm gonna try another one. Then when I'm done, I'm gonna print them out at the same time. Okay. So I'm gonna, this one is already done. I already saved that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this out. So I'm gonna just click on it and push delete. Click on it and push delete. And I'm gonna go to, I wanna make a pink background. So um, this my I got this from um, Etsy water watercolor sheets off of Etsy. So I wanted to have a background instead of having a plain white background. I got a watercolor sheet. So I stretch it. Make sure I don't see no white. Okay, and then I want to put. Let's see. I want to go with. Let me see. Purr. So I click on it. And you can also drag her over there too. See how you can just drag. I like about that you can drag it on. So now she's green. I'm with the green one. I'm gonna delete that. I'm with the girl with the purple shirt. So I'm gonna click her right on there. I'm gonna go ahead and stretch her to make her fit. Probably about right there. Then I wanna put in this um quote right here. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Right back over. 
And there we have it. And then I got that. That's the front cover of the um, journal. And then it's already down here. So what I'm going to do is get the pink again. And I'm going to just drag it over. Then I'm going to go ahead and... When you print it out, make sure you do double-sided and it'll print on the back so you can have a nice side. It depends on how you're doing your journal. If you're going to um, use the chipboard, you don't have to worry about doing double-sided. Just do one side. But if you're doing the um, if you're doing lamination, you got to make sure those are double-sided. And I do both. I'm going to do both. So this one right here is going to be lamination. Then the other one is going to be chipboard. Okay, so I can show you the difference between you know how, how they look. Okay, so this is done. And I'll go do the same thing. I'll go ahead and push save. I mean, I push the arrow right here, and then I push download. And I already downloaded, so I'm not going to do it again. So now I'm going to go ahead and print them out, laminate it, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I got everything laminated and printed out. Isn't it pretty? Here's one of the, the front covers for my journals. Just the back, and then all oh, yeah, I um basically double-sided it, and I laminated it. It's the back cover of my journal. And I also double-sided it and laminated it. Okay, and this is this is the one I'm gonna do for lamination, these two. And this one I'm gonna do sticky paper. I got sticky paper on it. And I'm gonna stick them and see how I was saying earlier how the white border, I didn't print it out right, so it's gonna be white border. This is gonna be mine, so I'm still gonna figure out how to print without a border. So this is the back. Okay, and this is the chipboard. I got the chipboard from um, Hobby Lobby. I got these rings. This is five eight inch from Hobby Lobby, the spiral. And I also got my cinch. I'm gonna show you right now from Hobby Lobby. It was on sale. Well, I used a coupon. It was a hundred some dollars, but I got it on sale with a coupon, and I used only had to spend like seventy four dollars, I think. So this is the cinch. I'm gonna bring it over to you so I can show you. I just, this is my first time using it, y'all. So I'm going to use it together with you guys. Okay, so this is what it is. First, I unboxed it and I just um, basically you take this little thing over right here and it brings it up or whatever. All the instructions are right here. So you really don't, I mean, it comes with instruction, but it still comes, it has it right here. So you don't have to worry about losing them. It's right there. And also, I bought this paper with no, with no holes in it. This eight and a half by 11 paper with no holes. I got this from Amazon. And I decided to get some more, um, some more of these um, chipboards from Amazon. I ordered some more of these from Amazon because I want them in white. I don't really like this brown. So I've got some white coming in from Amazon. And I'm gonna check the um, Amazon too for the, um, for the spirals. Cause these were, you can get two of these at um, Hobby Lobby because it's just like this. You get two of these at Hobby Lobby for one ninety nine. So that's not a bad price. So um, so I don't know. We'll see how much they cost on Amazon. Okay, first thing like I say, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a stack of paper. It's my first time doing this, so I'm gonna just do a little bit of time. So just because I make make a mistake, I won't waste so much paper. And then what you have to do is let me turn it this way so you can see it better. Okay, yeah, that's better. So first, you just so this never go all the way down to eight and a half by eleven. But first, you got to start it all the way at the top, and then you push it in and make sure that your paper is pushed all the way in. So it's hitting the back. Make sure it's straight. And right now, I want to make sure all these are up because I'm going to go ahead and punch all the holes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's straight and go all the way down. Ooh, it's kind of hard, tough. Okay, look at that. Perfect holes, okay. And now bring it all the way down, and then I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it's all the way stuck. It's, it's in there tight. And to make sure it's tight and straight, I'm gonna go ahead and put this little thing right here, and it basically goes into a hole. So you have to worry about the paper moving. So it's basically in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and um show you. I don't want it to um. Go to my top page because it'll give, I mean, all the way to the top of the paper because it'll give us a half a hole. So right here in the instructions, it says if you're using the 11 inches wide, you take off number 10. See right here, it says if you're doing 11 inches, you take off um peg 10. So we're just going to pull peg 10 out like that so you won't punch that hole so it won't be a half a hole. 
So it will punch all the way to nine. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this, make sure they all up, except for, I'm gonna make sure that um, they all pushed in, except for 10, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and push it down. Gotta put a little oomph in it. Okay, then I gotta pull this up so it can come out. And there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Please, um, if you like the content of this video, please subscribe to my channel, like this video. And also, please join my group. I have a Facebook group. And we have so much fun in that group. Just make sure everything is all the way in. Punch down. I'm not counting the sheets. I'm just doing it. Um, like I said, by my Facebook group, it's called Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. And we have so much fun in that group. See, now that it's getting stuck, paper is getting stuck inside of here. So I'm going to just tell that it's something stuck in there. So I'm going to just use paper just to move it around so it can go in there perfectly. Push this down again. Then I'm going to put it out number 10. Put it on in it. Lift this back up, pull it on out, okay. Use this thing, just to poke the hole in there, put the paper. But yeah, like I was saying, my, my group is called Brown, Girl, Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. We do polls, like for instance, I'm doing a poll, I just did a poll, and I asked everybody, what do they want me to do, what they what videos they want to see? So, um, they're, um, I go with their suggestions, and we go from there. Now I've got some, stuff, some paper stuck in there, so I'm trying to clean this out so it won't be. And I, 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 um, I, do, I put videos, I upload videos on there for them to see. We go live, like today, I went live. Was it today? Yeah, today I did a live video so we can all talk, so we can all chat together. So that was pretty fun. That was my first time doing a live on YouTube. Well, not a, that wasn't even a live. That was a premiere. I did a premiere video on, on YouTube, and I was able to um have all my all the ladies in my group join in as we all watched the video together for the first time so that was pretty fun and we chatted with, with each other and then tomorrow i'm going to be doing a live but now what i'm gonna do is go ahead and put the same thing to this lamination that i did with my um paper i'm gonna put it in Okay, so this is gonna be our back cover. I'm gonna go ahead while I got it, the clinch stick ready. I'm gonna go ahead and do the the um the front cover also. Okay, so going up. Yeah, this is just a learning experience for me. So next time I know that how to do it a little better. Like I said, this is going to bring my picture over a little bit, too. This is for this video, though. I'm going to finish it. I told y'all I was doing it together for the first time with you. So, let me take out made y'all. Learn from my mistakes and y'all can do y'all's better. How about that? Okay, so see how that hole punched in there. So, next time I'm going to move the design over. To go all the way from the top from with the, with the um, and just leave this, these two blank and what i do is cut them after i finish loading everything up well like i said this is for me because like i said the board is the paper is a little bit too big for the um the cover so i'm gonna just use 50 sheets or whatever for myself and i just use this keep this for myself and next time i make some more orders i know what to do next time all right and then i go ahead and put this on top so that was just to hold that in place and i'm gonna take this out then what you need to do is just let me show you. Okay. What you just want to do is just lift it up so you can shake it a little bit. Make sure these rings is in here. And then you just see. You just say put in. Oh, 
so the mistake that I made was I did not have I had this was a, this was a, when I printed this out it had a border on it okay and what I did was before I laminated I cut the border out the white border so next time when I print it I just got to make sure I don't have a border and then the, if I don't have a border it's just a print bigger and, it, and it'll make sure it's the same size as the, the paper which is eight and a half by eleven so that was the only mistake I made was printing with a border, cutting the border out, which made it smaller than it was supposed to be, okay? And I did that for all of them, so I'm not gonna waste it. So this is for tutorial, this is for this tutorial. I'm gonna use, just go ahead and do it. And then next time when you do it, you'll know to make sure you don't print with a border, okay? Let's try to do a borderless print. So now we gotta do is just basically put, put this in here, face, the T face inside, the open side in. And we already got it down right here for um, this five by eight inches right here. So it's right there, which you just turn this knob right here, and that's how. And you turn this, turn this knob, and it bring it over to here. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how this is gonna work. So watch your hands, cause you will smash them. So just hold them, hold the binder on the back. Okay, just go, oh, going the wrong way. But then that, like that, hold it down. Cool. I'm gonna do the same thing for this. I'm gonna do the whole thing, I'm gonna cut that off. Make sure it's all the way in there. Ta-da! I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. See if these regular scissors to work with this. We about to see. Yes, it. So since I cut that, I'm gonna go ahead and smash this again. So it won't cut me. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. I'm kind of excited. I'm doing a bind. I'm binding a notebook. A journal. So see how that opens up. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So now I can see also that uh, this is a nice size. This, this size five by eight. It's a nice size, and I can put more paper in here, and I still have enough room. Some people use the inch. I think the inches is too big. With how much paper you put in, but um, I like this five, this size. So I know I'm gonna order some more of these from Amazon. Okay, so let's try to do one more. So, my first time doing this too, you guys. I love to show y'all. And if I goof up, you will see me goof up. We're going to goof up together. I'm just, I'm doing, I'm just pulling the, the, the paper off the back of the sticky paper. This is Cricut. Sticky paper. And I got this from uh, Hobby Lobby also. So, I'm going to start from the bottom and move my way up, I guess. My first time using sticky paper, guys. So, <laughs> ta da! And there we have it. Of course, I <laughs> got a little brown on this side, but I'm not changing it. I wish I would have done this side, other side. This is side I'm gonna be binding on. Oh, you know what is it? Yep, this is side I'm gonna be binding on this side. Pulling off the paper. You know what I should do? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start with this part first. And then peel off the other part so it won't stick. Try to do that. It might work better for me. Voila! Yep, that was better to do it that way. And there we have it. In there. So it's going like I said, it's going to cut off my um picture, but I gotta do what I got to do. Like I said, guys, ladies, this is not perfect. So you can see what I did. You can see my mistakes, and you can make yours perfect next time. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Okay, so now that we did all that, let's go ahead and put this. That's my son in the background playing that game. Boys in the game. 
He know I'm doing a video now. <laughs> Shane, I'm doing a video, son. Okay, so I'll just go here from the top. And then I'll go ahead and put my little 50 sheets of paper. Because I'm just doing 50. Usually for my journals, I will be doing 100. But just since I made a mistake on them, I'm going to waste all this paper. And I'll just keep these for me. Smash it on down. Like I said, make sure it's in between. Um, it did much, much better by it being in the middle of the half and five eighths. I'll show you that in a minute. I thought I clenched this down. Ooh. So tip it back over there like that. Okay. Perfect. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I did it before. The first time I did it, I had it right here on the five eighths. So that's the size I'm using, but I moved it over a little bit and it make it tighter. So it's better to be between. And to make to move this, you just turn this knob. Let's see. Just turn this knob. Or you push down and turn it. That's how that moves. Okay? And it goes all the way to one and one fourth. Okay, go with that right there. So let's check her out. That's the front and that's the back. Okay. Let's flip through it and see how. So I'm going to cut this off with the scissors in a minute. I can do it right now before I flip through her. Okay. Regular scissors do, do work. I, I have some cutters. I just didn't like getting them. But I do have some cutters. Do her real quick. So you can just see. Beautiful. See how they just flip right through? I love it. I made my first journal and this is the, this is really sturdy it's the chipboard so it's sturdy and you know what to seal this you could just put on mod podge i seen it on um youtube i seen someone put mod top mod podge on it and she just used the um the regular mod podge and you just use the paintbrush and paint over it but i have some of this that i might use and i'm gonna go ahead and spray it on now to see how it works so i'm gonna stand back a little bit i'm gonna spray a light co coating over it just to keep the let me just spray once in the air just to see. Okay. So let me just go just like that. And there we go. Because it said it's okay to use the air. So I was watching another video. So spray a little bit. I was just scared I didn't want to change colors of the black hair. And we don't have to worry about putting the Myers Pocket on because it's already laminated. So, ladies, I did my two notebooks. I mean, my two journals. And I will do better next time. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you by my, my mistakes and you can learn from them try to find out how to print without border i cut my border so that would make my my um my covers a little bit smaller than my paper but it's still it's still gonna work for me i'm gonna use them and then next time i'm gonna do a planner with, with a calendar and the to-do list and all that kind of good stuff i'm gonna make that up so i'll just show you let me know if you want to see that video and I'm going to say something else. Let me think what I was going to say. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Next time I'm also going to get, I'm going to order some of the white chip. Well, I did order some white, um, it's called chipboard from Amazon instead of using that brown. But I like the way this works because it's pink on the background. Okay. And right now I only have 50 pages in both because I didn't want to waste too much paper because I'm going to, but in my regular journals, I'm going to put 100 pages in there. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe and please check out my um, Facebook group page, which is called Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. This didn't have anything to do with Cricket, but it's crafting. <laughs> Thanks for watching.